go? Yeah. Oh, let me get my Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta turn the image down there. Is it fine like that? Like what? No, no, that's fine. That's perfect. It looks beautiful. That shit was only 1.8 gigabytes and it went for an hour and a half almost. I thought it was. Yeah, six, get that half it took up the whole memory card. To the bloody city. Whoa! Since you already there, this is, this is the spirit leading. You know where that's at, don't you? Fuck. Go to the bloody city. Yeah, have a cook too, I believe. You don't have to go to the town. Yeah, we all have it. Start from the top with that. Oh, fuck. That's, is that thing going? Yeah. Have a cook is that good shit. Let me write that out in a minute. Habakkuk 2 and 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town How did with blood. Hold on a second, let me see that. Let me see that real quick. My fault. Start at the top, too. You can read all of that. Start at the top, of two. We'll get, we'll, we'll get back to it. Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. That's what we are on our watch right now. Who the watchman, keep going. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the, write the vision and make it plain upon ta tables that he may run that readeth it. Oh uh, yeah. They, they're gonna hear these prophecies, they're gonna take off running. You know what I'm saying? We, what we're saying is scary, keep going. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Yeah, the vision of the destruction, the destruction, the desolation, that's for an appointed time, which is very soon. Keep going. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Yeah, though it tarry, people think it's taking forever. Like, y'all said America was going to be destroyed five years ago. Like the reptilian might say that, uh, your boy, uh, Oh, uh, yeah, that's Leonard. what will come out of his mouth when it he'd be like, he'd be like, y'all been out here for five years. <laughs> I'm like, okay, don't no, tarry, don't worry, it's going to happen. Keep going. Though no, it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will surely come. And a lot of people had visions and dreams about the destruction, about nuclear war. Your grandma done had a vision about World War III and nukes. You know what I'm saying? You hear about that shit all the time. People, I had a dream last night. I seen missiles and bombs. And... <laughs> okay, keep going. It's Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Oh yeah, because they think, oh, the Lord ain't came back yet. We do whatever the hell we want. Like the, they were like, the Most High don't even exist. It's just like when the Lord was on the cross, they, they was tempting him, saying, oh, if you're really the Son of God, how won't you bring uh, get yourself off that cross? Talking shit, you know what I mean? It's like a bunch of demons. But that's why after they crucified him and killed him, oh, did then they freaked out after that happened, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. There was earthquakes, yeah, yeah. crazy oh, shit. Right. People came up out their graves, was walking around. They got bugged out then. Earthquakes. Earthquakes. It got dark for like so many hours. That dark that you know that it speak of that happened in same same yeah. dark that happened in Egypt. That darkness that you can feel. Yeah, it was that was scary. Yeah, it scared the shit out of people. That's why the Romans said, "Oh, he is surely a man of the Lord." Oh, he said he's surely the son of the Most High. Is what they go. said. There you go. That's why. Okay. Yeah. Well, he is the man. He's the supreme man. That's right. First spirit. Oh, yeah. Keep going with that. Oh, he highlighted that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we go through shit all every day. Every time we out here, we go through shit. You go highlight. <laughs> it will not tarry. That's pretty much why we out here for to edify each other. Yep. Because we ain't out here to edify these. We out here to mark these fools. Yeah. Most of them. Right. Well, you marked one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You either going on the good list or the bad list. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, they try to say Santa Claus was making a list. That's the. <laughs> that was, shit. You know what I'm saying? Some bullshit. Mm -hmm. hey, believe me, there is a list. Yeah, right. What they call that? 
When that's I was a little kid growing right. up, my mom be like, you're on my shit list. <laughs> you ever, you, ever, you ever yeah. put on a shit list? <laughs> Most shit I got list. his shit list. They're right. <laughs> and he got his good list. The ones that was predestined to that's do this, the, you He know? got the book of life. That's right. That's right. That book of life. Yep. Keep going. <laughs> it will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall live by his faith. Yeah, the just shall live by faith. So everything we do is by faith. The only reason we come out here teaching in the freezing temperatures Ooh. is because of, is because of our faith. faith. Otherwise, right. we would just sit at home and watch uh, SmackDown because SmackDown's on Thursdays now. Eight o'clock on Sci-Fi. It's on Thursdays now. Yeah, they changed it back to they used to be on Thursdays. So I, I be watching day. wrestling. I can't watch wrestling now. Some wrestling. I watched it the other day, man. That is, man, what wrestling's terrible. It, the <laughs> WWE is terrible. Terrible. It's worthless. The worst is acting, period. The, the wrestling is garbage. Every, 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 you know, they're not even allowed to hit each other upside. Active. They're not even allowed to hit each other upside their heads with steel chairs no more. So, you notice it's always, in, it's always in the back. Wow. There's no more blood. Ain't none of that good shit. None of that good shit. Because right. I like the violent wrestling. Uh -huh. That's what I, made it good. That's what made it good. It, it is. Mm -hmm. So they actually got hurt back in the day. Cause I mean, cause the Lord's a man of war. Yeah. And we gonna meditate terror. Cause, like I said, I get ideas from watching wrestling about how the way I'm gonna fuck up these heathens. Cause the wrestlers be creative the way they be fucking each other up. Like I seen uh, your boy Mankind and Terry Funk was wrestling. They had flaming chairs. They caught some chairs on fire too, and was beating the shit out of each other I with flames. I watch so much of that too. I was just shit like that. You just imagine the kind of torment we gonna put on these heathens, on these Edomites and these Hamites, and all these other heathens, and the two thirds of Israel, the yeah. wicked of Israel. We gonna fuck them up, man. See Jeff Hardy do this swanton bomb from 50 feet in the air. Oh yeah, we do shit like that. We gonna do a moon salt on your ass with a steel chair. And we gonna start with them bloods and crip niggas. Oh, they gonna get it. They gonna get it. <laughs> when the Lord gives it, cause the Lord gonna give us spiritual power. He gonna give us actual spiritual power. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got your little guns and your little pistols. And that ain't shit, man. Ain't shit. Hey, let's get that Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah, did towards the end of Isaiah 54. No weapon. You know where that's at? Oh, you can get back to that. Hold that Habakkuk, too. Don't get straight too far away from that. We're going to finish that up all the way to where you first started. All right. Yeah, cause uh, these little ra these little pistols, that's just raggedy, man. And you might be able to kill somebody, you know, you kill our physical body, but you little pistols ain't shit. We gonna have power that well surpasses a goddamn pistol. We gonna have su we gonna have supernatural powers. You know what I'm saying? We gonna levitate on your ass. You know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna have uh, <laughs> telekinetic powers. We gonna be like goddamn Professor X out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Just throw your ass across the goddamn, like Darth Vader. You know how Darth Vader did it? When he just choked your boy, he just put his hand up and he... Spiritual power. Yeah, yeah. And Darth Vader was the good guy on Star Wars. Yeah. Okay, Anakin Skywalker was the good guy. You know what I'm saying? That's why uh, when in episode one, no, episode three, Anakin said, you're either with me or, or against me. That's a scripture out of the Bible. Then Obi-Wan Kenobi said, uh, oh, that's only something a Sith would say. That's only the, the, the dark side would say. And that was the scripture. Like you can't get straight to the point. Because you know the scripture, what did the Lord say? He said, you either with me or you're against me. That's <laughs> What are you looking for? That's Isaiah 54. Is it 54? Towards the end of it. It's like the last. I'm in 45. You got it close. <laughs> you gotta invert it. <laughs> yeah, because even that. yeah, even. Huh? Oh, okay. This is uh, this is uh, this is Isaiah 54 and uh, 17. I'm gonna start. Uh, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. In every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Oh yeah, so anybody that comes up talking shit. 
That's why we ain't supposed to fear nobody out here. You ain't supposed to be a. Hey, we get that uh, Ezekiel too, when it says even though they got the the hard speech or whatever. That's one, you know, two or three. Yeah, two or something yeah. like that. You can bring that out too. Yeah, because you can't be afraid of these fools. Like all they do is just talk a good game, man. We went through enough of that through the years. People come up here, talk shit. At the mouth, they, talk they, they, they gonna kill us. They gonna shoot right, us. Right. They gonna stab us. Man, we do what you gotta do, man. Threaten to shoot us. We on Parsons. We've been threatened to get shot. That Jew bastard threatened us. to shoot us. Oh yeah, the Jew motherfucker said he gonna shoot me in the head. Oh, I think he was strapped though. Hey, them Jews walk around strapped. I think he was strapped at that time. He said he had a gun in his backpack and he's gonna pull it out and shoot us in the head. Cause we just calling him Esau and then he wanted to kill us. We fucked that devil up, man. And the most high, through the spirit of the most high, we fucked that devil up. That greasy bastard. Hey, old saying, the truth hurts. The truth hurts really bad. Sticks and stones <laughs> will break your bones and words will always hurt you. <laughs> Isaiah 54 and 17, so No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. Yeah, so anybody come up against us talking shit about that, that ain't they coming against us. Anybody who comes up against the Most High, mm -hmm. we're going to condemn your ass, man. Right. We're going to condemn you straight to uh, goddamn Hades. <laughs> yeah, Kahana. To the fires of Kahana. Bitches. Yeah, we're gonna get straight to the fires of Gahana. I heard some old hillbilly say that. He said it sounded smooth when he said it. Cause y'all gonna get y'all gonna eat missiles, man. When that destruction comes and America's destroyed by those missiles, you're gonna get burned up, man. All you scoffers, you two-thirds, you're gonna get burned up. You're gonna be you're gonna be disintegrated. Right. You're gonna get nuked. What else could you do that? I know. Oh, I just seen, I was, one of the top headlines on Drudge today was Holland and Merkel to meet over going to total war with Russia or something wow, like that. Wow, Because they building up going to war with Russia right now. Yeah, they building up, yeah. That, that's, America's already fighting Russia with a proxy war in Ukraine. America's funding the Ukrainians that's fighting against the Russian, uh, they're fighting against the Russians, pretty much. As soon, Russia's going to bring their whole military up in Ukraine. That's why Obama's down there talking to Cuba. That's just to piss the Russians off. Because right. Cuba is Russia's uh, ally. And Cuba is one of Russia's top spots. Because they got spy boats and shit down there. Down in Russia, uh, down in Cuba to spy on America. Yep, yep. So America's trying to go down there and they're trying to get, get the strategic, strategic advantage. You see, you see uh, Russia just announced that... Uh, they running, they're gonna run military drills with Cuba and North Korea. That's good, man. So that shit, America and Cuba, ain't gonna result in nothing. Oh yeah, Russia, Putin said too that he's, uh, the foreigners are allowed to join his military now. <laughs> so if you if you wanted to, you could go over to Russia and join uh, Putin's military. That's for all two thirds. Yeah, you gonna have. <laughs> well, well, yeah. You, well, you gonna have a lot of white people in America who's disgusted with this country. Yeah. Because they, because they, they, people in America they worshiping Putin. They look up Putin like he's the new world leader. You know what I mean? Right. They do. You see it on the internet all the time. Sure do. We got people. We got Putin worshippers. He's the devil. Putin's a devil. But he, he got his. You know, the Most High set him up to do what he's got to do. And hopefully that's the shooting missiles. Heathens against heathens. Right. When it's ultimately, it's ultimately the, the international banking families, they're all big plan to destroy Israel. There's two plans going on that they don't, these motherfuckers don't know shit. Yeah, they don't know what's going on. Those motherfuckers at least, they want Israel. They're going to destroy a lot of their own heathens to just get, get us. <laughs> you know? They're trying to take us out, man. Whole thing, whole point is to, 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 uh, to avert prophecy. The hell you gonna change the most high plan with yeah, make sure you right. your dumb ass. Make right. sure oh you talking about destroy the real Israel. Yeah, right. That's what that's the what real mean. not right. not the state of Israel. Right, not the Israelis. So somebody yeah. might get that twisted. <laughs> right. Yeah. Don't not get it Israelis. twisted. Because <laughs> if anybody had any real brains, they would drop nuke drop nukes on the state of Israel. Mm -hmm. Right. And now. To, to kill you know, to, but you know that ain't gonna happen. The most high gonna destroy that shit. But it will eventually get get shot, get destroyed. America's gonna be destroyed. 
and them goddamn devils over there in the state of Israel, they're going to be destroyed too. Because Israel got to be cleansed by fire. Those heathens done polluted that land. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? All, over there molesting children. Tel Aviv, the, the, the gay, uh, the gay uh, beach. Well, they have over all, there. all the so-called Jews are homosexual sodomites. Mm -hmm. it, it's in their Talmud. The Talmud says they're allowed to have sex with little boys. And they've committed no sin. And it says a woman can uh, engage in bestiality Ooh, and, and be able to marry a priest. It makes it, they're eligible. Yeah, they're eligible to marry a priest once they got fucked in the ass by a horse. What? <clears throat> that's in the Talmud. You, man, we got that Jew sign we made. Yeah, that's yeah. one. I, I ain't hear that one. Yeah, we even it don't say that. just like that. It says if, if a woman had had sex with a beast, it is but a mere wound or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or something she's like eligible that. eligible to and marry she's, a priest. And she's still eligible to marry a priest. Yep. Something like that. Yep. Yep. Hey, these some weirdos, man. These are some foul people. Yep. Foul as shit. They be man. sucking the little baby boys when they get them circumcised. They suck the little baby's dicks when they circumcise their babies. All the little rabbis be sucking baby penises, man. Mm -hmm. Bunch of fucking weirdo, child molesting, devil worshiping, faggot, cock sucking bitches, man. I fucking hate them. I hate everything about a Jew, oh man. My goodness. Or they're really an Edomite. They're not even really Jews. I hate everything about a goddamn Edomite. For real. Well, what, what's your one dude? Every iota of a cracker. <laughs> what's your dude yeah, that day? You, you heard that one dude? Oh, uh, yeah, that black dude from the black panther. <laughs> 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 I think that was in Philly or something. Well, uh, no, no, it's about a lot of them groups, though. Don't never specify them Jews either. You know what I mean? They, 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 everybody always want to give them fake Jews a free pass, man. Shoot. Like the men of the Lord. All right, what you got? Uh, this is Jeremiah 49 and um, 15. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen. All right, so Esau is going to be made small among the heathen. Keep going. And despised amongst men. They already despise the whole, that's why every day in the news you say, they say they got them fake Jews, they making an exodus out of Europe because anti-Semitism is on the rise in Europe. Yeah, everybody, everybody's waking up to you devils, man. Yeah. I get on YouTube comment boards and almost every, you watch, go watch an Alex Jones video and read the comments. Everybody be like talking shit about the Jews saying Alex Jones, Zionist shill. <laughs> that's wild. But you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's awake to these devils, man. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people's waking up, especially in Europe. Not so much here, but over in Europe, they waking up to them goddamn Jews, man. For real. Damn right. They, uh, they firebombed one of their synagogues the other day, too. That's shit. probably an inside job. Yeah. They're going after them cut pieces of shit. Well, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Never know. Probably it happened over there, so I personally, I believe that shit was... I think they're going after him. Because the Muslims really hate him, too. Oh, shit. Holy uh, boy. That's one of the only things a Muslim ever got right. <laughs> they hate, <laughs> hate them motherfuckers. Yeah. And, it, and they call America the great Satan. Oh, they call America the great Satan. They yeah. do that. Um, yeah, but the Muslims are heathen, so they ain't getting no credit, man. Just very little. Right. Like circumcising their women. That's disgusting. I'll go ahead. Man, that shit crazy. Thy terribleness have deceived thee in the pride of thine heart. O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Yeah, because they from Mount Seir. Mount Seir is a mountainous region. You know what I'm saying? Now they in the cliffs of the rock. Who owns all the skyscrapers? Yeah. Goddamn Edomites own all the skyscrapers. That's right. Don't know Jake's. I don't know skyscrapers. They done turned the city into it's a Mount Seer. They done created artificial mountains everywhere. All made out of brick and stone. Go ahead. Or thou steel. holdest the height of the hill. Though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, said the Lord. Also Edom shall be a desolation. Every one that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. Yeah, they're gonna be plagued. Great, they're gonna have a great. They're gonna suffer a great plague. As, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighboring cities thereof, really, said the Lord. Yeah, because America's 
20 times worse than Sodom and Gomorrah ever was. America got like 50 Sodom, more than that. Every, every, every city in America is like a miniature Sodom. And New York, that blow, New York City, that blows Sodom and Gomorrah out of the water. Sodom and Gomorrah looks like, uh, what's the, that looks like My Little Pony or some shit compared Sesame to Sesame Street. Uh, what is it? Sesame, what? You can't use that analogy because Elmo got caught raping little boys. <laughs> you know. So trying to find a good analogy is hard. Elmo <laughs> Yeah, but it, uh, yeah, Elmo, yeah, Elmo. The puppeteer, uh, Elmo, got caught raping little boys, but then they settled out of court. They they hushed it up. And it, I, if I'm not mistaken, he's still mm. doing the voice mm. of Elmo. Uh, still raping children. They, they, we can look out for each other. That's funny too, because my sons will never watch Elmo. Yeah. Yeah. Elmo so wow. I teach my sons, you ask them about Elmo, they're like, he's gay. <laughs> they don't watch that shit. <laughs> They, they watch uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z and shit. They don't fuck with no goddamn Elmo and no SpongeBob and all this other faggot shit. Right. Elmo's ass, man, got a squeaky ass voice. Yeah, we don't watch that shit in our house. It's not allowed. No man shall abide there, neither shall a son, man, son of man dwell in it. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan against the inhabitation of the strong, but I will suddenly make him run away from her and who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her for who is like me and who will appoint me the time and who is that shepherd that will stand before me therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Edom and his purpose that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman surely the least of the flock shall draw him out surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them yeah, because uh, America's controlled by Edomites. Just look in Congress, all Edomites. Look at the Senate, all Edomites. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The only thing that's not an Edomite is the president. He's a goddamn Hamite. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, and Eric Holder, I don't know what the fuck he is. He gotta be a Jake, you think? I don't know what Holder, the fuck. Yeah, that's a Jake. Yeah. Even that bitch they're trying to replace him with. Oh, man. And Eric Holder, he's a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. He, he, he's, he's the looking, devil. You can see it in his face. He's a straight up devil, man. That motherfucker ain't right. Nah, he, he's evil. You can see it in his eyes. Right, right. Just, a, just every word is a lie. <laughs> we got more than half a cook. We should read the rest of that. Yeah, read the what you got there? You got more than you want to read the rest finish, of that? Let me finish I'll go ahead and finish that up. First. Behold. The earth is moved at the noise of your fall. At the cry of your voice, the earth is heard. Start over. That car is loud as fuck. Yeah. So you might go back start at 18. Start at 18. Would you, would you read 21? No, I'm down at 20. Yeah, that was 21. Okay, we're reading from 18 all the way down there. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan against the habitation of the strong. But I will suddenly make him run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like me? And who will appoint me the time? And who is that shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Edom and his purpose, that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall at the cry, the noise thereof was heard. Oh, that's the, the missile. Yeah, the missiles want to make. When the missiles hit the, uh, when the missiles hit, the earth is going to shake like a back and forth, like a drunk is going to wobble. You know what I mean? Boom. It's going to wobble. So that's going to be a lot of nukes dropping, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just cause, yeah, just one, just one missile. Will cause, that dude's pretty gay. Just, just one missile will cause great destruction. Just think about hundreds of missiles, right? Hundreds of nukes. Thousands. It's not just nukes; it's thermonuclear weapons. You know, some highly advanced shit. I mean, we're in that one time you had that megaton chart, and we was looking at the megatons. Oh God! 
Oh, I got that. I still got that. Oh, yeah. That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah, that's some that's crazy right. shit. Mom, it should, I seen that. It should have been short of uh, Hiroshima and all that. Yeah, yeah they never saw it. It was real little. You can barely see it. It's a little dark. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, the shit so the bombs, they dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's like the equivalent of a potato gun compared to the nukes they got now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's like nothing. It's like a pea shooter. Yeah. And, and that caused, that, that killed 200,000. That, so, uh, that Tsar bomb, that Tsar bomb, that Russian That's bomb. a old one. Thank you, that's a fucking old one. That was in the 60s when they dropped that, wasn't it? Late 50s. The yeah, late 50s? Yeah, 59. Okay. Something like that. That's the fact, get on, get on YouTube and look up uh, Tsar bomb. T-S-A-R. It's Tsar bomber, I think it's called. That fireball from that bomb, was they say was from one end up to the other was like 12 to 15 miles. Damn. Whoa. That's bigger than fucking Columbus. That's the scariest shit I've ever seen. The, right. The, you know, the fireball that, yeah. the, that comes up, that yeah, goes up. Not that mushroom ball, but the the actual. Oh, the ball itself. That's that the fire comes up. That out. fire. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Oh, 12, damn. 12 to 15 miles from one end up to the other. Wow. Now imagine how all the way around that motherfucker. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's that's all of Columbus. And that was you they had this, they, the they chopped that nuke in yeah. half because it was supposed to have been a hundred uh, megatons or whatever, man. They cut it down to fifty. We do like fifteen minutes just to hold, you know what I mean? My hands are American like said they were shattered. amazed that Russia was able to right, airdrop that nuke, man. Yeah. Was amazed. Yeah, cause your hands get frozen out here quick. That's some amazing shit, man. I'm always looking for those specials. Those specials, the US specials. Now they always say the military, the, the media need to shut the fuck up. This is what one specialist said from the military. He said this is the media need to shut the fuck up because they don't know what they talking about. Well, they, they don't, they're not even meant to make any sense. You know what I'm saying? The media is all about making nonsense. Oh, right, right now they right. pushing that measles vaccination. Every time you look at the goddamn news, they talk about measles now. Oh my goodness. Because soon they're going to start forcibly, uh, they, they're going to have mandatory vaccinations. And what you going to do if you refuse the mandatory vaccination? Mm. They, they can lock you up. Yeah. That's what it's going to come down to. That's what my dad, I was just talking to my dad about that. He's like, shit. He's like, when we as kids, everybody had the goddamn measles. <laughs> you know what I mean? He said, everybody caught that. It, and that's like, they ain't want shit. They're making a big deal out of some goddamn measles. Mm -hmm. And there's people who's already vaccinated to caught the measles. But y'all, these people are stupid, man. Dumb they, as fuck. they dumb as hell. Dumb as fuck. And they dumb cattle. It's not hard it's not it's not hard to uh herd those cattle either. Right. You don't take but a couple cowboys to herd them, you know what I'm saying? This is Isaiah 24 and 18. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare, for the windows from on high are open, and the uh, foundations of the earth do quake. The windows from on up high. Because you might have the Lord gonna come back with the chariots too. The chariots can, can cause even more destruction than the missiles. Mm -hmm. Just think what kind of destruction a chariot can cause, man. Just one chariot could destroy the whole planet Earth. A UFO. What's that scripture revelation? 100,000, thousand? Uh, what was it? It mentions, it says something, it's something about nuclear missile, 100,000. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a revelation. Yeah. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth is moved exceedingly. That's from that great destruction. Clean <laughs> Massive fireball. <laughs> I like how they put, how they put that together. Yeah, that's clean not the same. Dissolved. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, clean dissolved. dissolved, yeah. How? <laughs> the earth is clean dissolved. That's why you got to get a King James Bible, too. I bet you if you compare that to the other Bibles, it ain't gonna sound as powerful. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's squeaky clean. Clean yeah. dissolved. Clean dissolved. Clean, clean dissolved. That dissolved. That means no existence of <laughs> that filth no yeah, more. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not even a molecule. Damn right. Not a molecule. That's, that's, what, right. that's what it means to be desolate. Not a molecule. Not a single thing left. Man, can you imagine some of that? What's that? Uh, I think they say a nuke is like 10 million degrees. Some shit like that. God, they say the surface of the. the 
like that breaches the temperatures of the surface of the sun. Yeah, yeah, that's ridiculous. You know, you can feel the fucking sun from here, man. That's how you buy whatever it is. <laughs> right. You know, whatever it is. Yeah, that's how you buy the you new know? training we had in the Marines. What's that about? We was doing a. Uh, we had our hazmat suits and we was doing uh, biochemical warfare uh, drills. We had the suits and gas masks. We had all of our gas masks and shit out. And they said, now we're going to teach you how to protect yourself from a nuclear attack. They told everybody, we was all in formation. And they said, everybody bend over, grab your ankles and kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> Right. Uh, well, that's what they did. What they said, they had everybody bend over. We was all bent over. They said, now put your head between your legs. Now kiss your ass goodbye. Right. They well, said, they know that, help. Yeah, that, that's that how you, uh, that's yeah, how you that's protect right. yourself. They actually taught us that. That was part of the training. That's funny. They, they, they knew our reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a done deal. Yeah, yeah. You know what? These, these motherfuckers I've been listening to talking, man. They actually, these military motherfucking experts, man, that's in the military, they actually in all of Russia's technology, man. They in yeah. all of it. They actually like got this one, I can't think of his name, but he got Russia's, he got one of their um, battleships and a, one of their newest subs on his desk. Damn. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Cause he's in all their technology. And you see Russia, they don't give a fuck about aircraft carriers. Don't give a shit. Cause they, they, got, they got one. They don't right. need no aircraft carriers. Y'all seen that video of the missile when Russia, they didn't hit the, they didn't hit the aircraft, the ship long, you know, yeah. long ways. They hit it the point. Damn. The accuracy of their fucking missiles went, man, that's Some aircraft shit. carriers ain't gonna be shit when they get destroyed. They ain't gonna be nothing. They're all them planes and everything on it going down with it. Yeah, right. And the ones that are in the air, what they gonna do once they're out of fuel? <laughs> you know? That's why America put all their money in carriers. Stupid. That's how a proud motherfucker, you know, that's a proud motherfucker. And each carrier carry, like, some of them carry up to 100 jets on it. Hey, that's, that's, still, that, that's amazing shit, though. But that's proof that the Noah's Ark could really happen. Yeah. It's those yeah. aircraft carrier, like, where people, yeah, yeah, yeah. they say, yeah. how could you have a ship with that many animals? How could you have a ship with a goddamn 100 jet fighters? <laughs> right. It's bigger than this whole fucking Remember street. Remember the aircraft carrier you, we went on in New York? How long did it take us to walk through that bitch? It's a, a city. A couple fucking hours, it's several America. hours. They're in miniature you know, cities. That's they, what it was. They that's got was. they got restaurants on them. Mm -hmm. They got we gift shops. Do all that shit, oh, man. man. They we got bathroom shops. The aircraft carriers got basketball courts. Mm -hmm. Track. What you, was it called the Intrepid? I can't remember. Yeah, no, it no, it the most high gave Noah, Noah uh, a reasonable time to build that one. Yeah, yeah, so years. You know, yeah, years. So you know he had it to the team. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that, yeah, that arc wasn't no joke, man. Plus that was a sons, big motherfucker. His sons were no uh, faggots like these motherfuckers walking around, even though he had ham and shim with him. <laughs> you know, and I mean, ham and Jaffet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, but they were still manly motherfuckers called Noah raised them. But they had great knowledge too back then. Damn right. Damn right. We were talking about some high sciences before the flood. That's where all the legends of Atlantis come from. Before mm -hmm. the flood, mm -hmm. talking about this highly advanced, technologically advanced civilization. Mm -hmm. Before the flood, there was some crazy shit going on, man. Yeah, think, that's where the stories like the Minotaur come from. Oh yeah, unicorn. Unicorns, all kind of weird. I actually Pegasus. came across that scripture uh, when you talk talking about the unicorn. That's probably a rhinoceros. Well, was, unicorn uh, means one horn. Yeah, yeah. I think and it was, it was too wild. Was that in a piece of something? That's probably the rhinoceros up there. Unicorn means one horn. horn. Yeah, yeah. Cause I don't think a lot of times they didn't know what the hell was talking about. No, that's Joe. That's Joe. I studied that for a minute. That was Joe because yeah. I seen that. Yeah. Yeah. But I Joe. believe unicorns. No, I, like <laughs> nah, I ain't. What are you gonna say? That? I don't care. I believe unicorns are real. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers will mm -hmm. laugh at you. Well, you see that? You shit. never know There's what's real. There's a dolphin that got that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 Unicorn. So you know, you, you never, never know, know what, what was real or not real, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like there could yeah. be a goddamn Pegasus, for all I know. Right. I mean, come on. The the Most High destroyed the whole fucking planet. Yep. Something that it was something that was because they was doing all kind of wicked shit. It was shit. some weird shit going on. They, they weird was, shit. They was, they was probably doing all kind of genetic engineering just like they're doing now. Exactly. Because they're doing some weird shit with that genetic engineering. They got spider goats. Mm -hmm. That sounds like something mm -hmm. out of Greek mythology. Oh, yeah, a spider goat. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. What about yeah, the what about the spider chickens with all that? They get all the chicken wings from. Right. The right. genetically engineered chicken. Yeah. It's got, it's got eight wings just so they can make more chicken wings. Imagine that. What'd you say? Wing uh featherless chickens? Yeah. Headless yeah. chickens. Yeah. And I personally believe they have more more knowledge into that 
weird shit back, back then. then. They than probably now. did because they used to live longer. Because you know? mm -hmm. when you live to be a ninety, I mean nine hundred years old, that's a lot of knowledge. That's man. a lot of yeah, yeah, you yeah. studying. Say you got a scientist studying for, for, for nine years. Yeah, for nine hundred yeah. years. Shit, since he's you know a teenager or whatever, studying yeah, and yeah. studying for eight hundred years. What kind of weird shit is he gonna learn? Ooh, can you imagine, man? So we can only imagine what kind of crazy shit happened before the flood. Damn right. They can't call Kentucky or KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken anymore. <laughs> right. Over in Europe, it's still Kentucky Fried Chicken. Right, right, right. So they don't got genetically modified chickens. Here, here. it's KFC. Okay, okay. Because it's not chicken. Right. <laughs> that shit ain't chicken, man. I don't eat that shit. I'm a. I don't eat no meat. That's crazy, man. Wait, but you did. You ain't safe even by eating vegetables. All the was like ninety percent of corn is genetically modified. Corn is only supposed to be like that big a head. What's up, devils? You know America is the great Satan. You know that? <laughs> Y'all Satan seed walking around. Yeah, a bunch of devils. Satan ejaculated all over this motherfucking place. That's the seed walking around. <laughs> that was, that was bunch, Satan seed. No, those ain't my people right there, man. You don't know they ain't your fucking people. They ain't got the same spirit as me. Goddamn. That's what people try to say. I'm a like you're a race traitor. But all white people ain't the same race, you bunch of assholes. <laughs> people always want to uh, separate things by color. Mm -hmm. That's something little children do. They get, you got <laughs> when they playing with marbles or something. They put all the blue marbles over here. Right. They got the gray army guys and the green army. Yeah, they do. What kind of dumbass shit is that, man? <laughs> That's some old simple-minded shit. It's a child's thinking. <laughs> it is. It's a child's thinking. You know? Yeah. But a child, in all reality, a, ch a child has more insight and wisdom than these people, man. But that's what the scriptures say. You, uh, you got to be, uh, be like babes. Yeah. But the Lord likened us unto children. Yeah. That's why it said, whoever offends one of these children to believe in me, he might as well go ahead and put a millstone around his neck and be drowned in the sea. Damn right. You know what I mean? That's Matthew 18. There you go right there. <laughs> I know you like that one. I saw her last week. She's ready for that's a childbearing history right there. Yeah, childbearing history right there. She gave birth to a little soldier. <laughs> okay. What the fuck are we talking about some crazy shit? What are we talking about? Uh, oh yeah, the, oh yeah, because uh, they, they got goddamn mice. Did they um, mix the mice's genes with the jellyfish? Now they got glowing the dark mice. Yeah, I seen that. They grow human ears on mice. Yeah, they grow yeah. human ears on mice. What kind of crazy oh, shit is that? They grow penises science. and pussies now? Yeah, they grow in vaginas in yep. the laboratory. That's yep. some bad science. Oh, yeah, they grow in like the, uh, kidneys and lungs yeah. up inside yep. of cows. Oh. Yeah, they do that. Now they, they, yeah, they can take a pig heart, put it in a person. So, yeah, so what kind of shit do you think they did before the flood? Yeah, and the funny thing is, these doctors and science, they know the body is going to reject it over time. But they, they go wrong with it anyway. A nigga to get up another week on to live, man, that, oh, come, give me a pig heart. Yeah. Well, soon as you know what I mean? Just for another week to... Soon it's going to be like, what's that movie that came out? This is what they would like to do. They would like to make human clones. There's that movie that's like a whole colony of clones where they, they, they would raise people just for have extra body parts for their uh for their real self in the real world. Mm. You seen that it had Ewan uh, McGregor in it? Oh uh, yeah, uh, 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 the Island. Was some yeah, was that what it was called? Yeah, it was called the Island. They yeah. had that uh, Jake dude that was hunting him down he escaped or something. Yeah, that's the type of shit yeah, these devils are into. I believe they they already got some clones and shit going on, man. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they doing all them. kind of weird shit. They said they uh, clone some trans families over in England. Uh, what a, now the well, big, it's, it's a place over there out, outside of New York. Um, that's uh, pretty much made after that movie, Doctor Moreau or some shit. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, some freaky yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm trying to think of that. That movie's movie. based on real life. Yeah, it's based on real life. It's, it's, out, it's out by New York. I'm about, you got yeah, me right. I was about to say that. Like, well, yeah, about. you know Slim Shady was a clone. Yeah. <laughs> now they said the new Eminem. Nah, I, I'm just joking. That's how pop. That's how bugged out. People are so bugged out. 
Them, them videos got millions of hits. Oh, Eminem pushed it in his video for Monster. He had his real self locked up in a cage. Oh, he did too. But they, but that even fueled the conspiracy further. Oh, well, Eminem. Because they said the real Eminem died in a car wreck, and the one rapping now is a clone. Oh my oh, god. <laughs> they, they got a hell of imagination. No, nah, motherfuckers. Are, look, they get bugged out and they'll study the shit out of that, but they'll never study these scriptures. They don't know. You know what I mean? I mean, you got people who's experts on the Eminem clone theory. How <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be an expert? They experts, bro. Hey, I'm expert on experts. Experts. on a theory. No, They're I was experts. drunk one day. Like, that don't even sound right. I was drunk one day, bro, experts and I, I watched theory. an hour presentation. It was an hour long presentation. <laughs> I actually watched that. Shit. You watched it. <laughs> I was drunk. You had to be drunk to watch that shit. I just couldn't stop watching it. I'm like, man. And it had thousands and thousands of comments. Everybody's like, yeah, this is real. Oh, it was by a black bitch. She made a video, too. Right, right. It's because, you know, she, you know, black girls love Shady. <laughs> they's like, yeah, this ain't the real Shady. Right, right. <laughs> oh, that, that's true, though, because uh, we was out here teaching them over here one day. And me and Guy was to the side. And y'all was teaching some uh, some goddamn Edomite. Fuck yeah. with them. And a bitch I used to fuck with came out here with some nigga who worked at the hospital, right? Mm -hmm. Cussed her ass out. And this bitch was every every time when I used to work with this whole man, she was always talking about Slim Shady, man. <laughs> so I went in the oh, Slim pharmacy. Fine, like, bitch, man. I cussed her ass out when she was with a nigga, man. I had some Eminem bumping in my headphones in the cashier. She was a black lady. She was like, ooh, that's Eminem. I love me some Eminem. Some fucking Eminem. Well, that's why I could, they used to call me Slim Shady before I had my beard. I have to say, I have to admit, you did look like him. He, we probably come from the same stock. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like we probably, he, oh, he's you know Scottish. You know with the Jews? I just figured it out. His fucking promoter, what's his last name? Who? Eminem's promoter. That dude, Paul his, man, his manager. Yeah, Rosen, his, yeah, his, well, he's a goddamn Jew, obviously. Who ain't a Jew in the music industry? Is it Paul Rosenberg? Yeah. 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 He's always on his records, too, Eddie. Uh -huh. Yeah, he does them skits. That's a, that's a, that's like, a M, I just name. got your new album. Rosenberg. This shit's ridiculous. Yeah, well, Berg means mountain. So that's German for mountain. Red bird. Here you go. Yeah, yo, yeah, rose. What color is rose? Green. Yeah, uh, just like Esau is red. red he's the red mountain. Wow. Yeah, that's that Esau, he's trying to say the mountain. Who knows, man? Because all these Jews, they got proud names. Silver, they, they always have silver in their name. Gold. Gold, mm -hmm. sterling, like mm -hmm. sterling silver. Mm -hmm. You know, they always have these proud demonic names. Yeah. All the shit they done stole, they named themselves after. Yeah, all yeah, right. All the riches they stole. Even they stole the people, and they called themselves after that, that people. Right. They, they take on the, you know? right. They take on the name Levi, yep. like Levi, yep. Levi, uh, yep. Levine. Levine, like Mark Levine. I think Mark Levine is an Israelite though. Mark Levine. Well, Mark Levine. He goes too hard, man. I yeah, could, that's we, a crazy motherfucker, man. Jimmy Levine is a crazy motherfucker, man. Interscope. Oh yeah, that's a bug, y'all motherfucker. I no, like listening Mark to Levin, him though sometimes. He be cursing motherfuckers yeah, out. Yeah, he full of fire. In there the no way. Jew curse people out like that, man. Yeah, he, uh, he. I don't think he no Jew. Though. They say he a Jew. Yeah, well, his last name's Levin. Right, right. And he tell, he don't never. I didn't work. know that though. When their so-called Passover comes up, he don't work on the Passover. Okay. All the radio hosts take it off. He, when it's Hanukkah, he don't never work on Hanukkah. And he tells you all the time he's Jewish. He's like, we gotta support Israel. <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's right. But yeah, because he is so-called Republican. Because usually the Jews are Democrats. Manetti control both. The so-called Jew control both parties, though. You know what I'm saying? You're right. It's everything. Give me that. They controlling Putin. They controlling motherfucker. Dog. They hell. They probably controlling parts of Iran. They control every goddamn the government. <laughs> the only government. They control everything. Everything. Man. Everything. I'm getting me everything. A fucking tripod. That shit's miserable holding out. Oh, uh, tripods are terrible. Hey, I still think That'd be good for the winter time. They're only 30 yeah. bucks on Sony's website. I had that fucking we had one too. I sold it because we needed money. You didn't need it that bad. You didn't ask me for one. I should have. Not man. alone. I would have just gave We you never used it. That was dumb selling. Yeah. I found a tripod for five dollars. I saw one at the regular store. I didn't even get it. Huh? Doesn't take the regular size tripod. Oh. Uh, Here you go. This. Let me read this. Uh, this is Wilson of Solomon 11, and I'm starting 17. For the Almighty Hand that made the world. Of matter without form. Oh shit. What it not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions, or unknown wild beasts full of rage, newly created. Newly created. So the most I got some. He got some wild.
crazy creatures you ain't never seen before, man. Like no, you ain't never imagined. Wild beasts. <laughs> I mean, just think the kind of shit we got proof that saber-toothed tigers once walked around. They yeah, probably yeah, still out there yeah, hiding. Yeah, 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 you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Most high. Because there's been reports of people seeing them. You know, were they supposed to be extinct? Well, you know, that's, that's what they say. That's they all. Yeah. You know, he's an expert. Esau's the expert. Yeah, some motherfucking crazy Russians. They say they, they saw, they say they seen sightings of fucking saber tooths in Russia. And saber tooth. Oh, up in Siberia. Right, this was just a month ago when I read this shit. A goddamn saber tooth tiger is yeah. this fucking tall. It's by, right, right, on a, on right, 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 right. They're right. fucking huge. It's tall as hell, just like a what you call it, the mammoth elephant is three times bigger than the, the, yeah. Oh, yeah, the yeah. mammoth. You know? yeah. The mammoth is yep. way bigger than an elephant. And, way we, and guess what? We gonna ride saber. We gonna put it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like he man. I'm gonna put a saddle on a. Well, when the Lord gives us that power, I'm gonna put a saddle on a saber two tiger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be killing heathens with a spear. That's gonna be beautiful. Cause we got. That's gonna be beautiful. Cause the Lord said he, he said you ask and you shall receive. I want to do shit like that. Yeah, right. That's right. I got an imagine. I got an imaginative mind. You know what I mean? I think about wild, crazy shit. Most people don't think about. It looks like the Most High does too. I, yeah, exactly. I want to ride saber two tigers. Damn right. Build a house on top oh, of that. We don't have them as pets. We could ride rafters. Put a saddle on a yeah. rafter. What you call? You could fuck somebody up with a rafter, bro. Oh, what, you, yeah. what, what you call them giant Mom. birds? Oh Mom's yeah, that big ass ostriches. But they had bigger. No, birds. I'm talking about the big birds, prehistoric, the pterodactyls. Oh, they, oh the big flying fly them motherfuckers. Yeah, that's bad, man. Just like they, they did that in the movie. Um, swoop down Avatar, and bite. Avatar. Yeah. Avatar. You gonna swoop down and bite someone's goddamn head off? Right. Them motherfuckers big enough to. Lift a body of bodies. Well, back they even got skeletons of big giant birds with with big giant beaks that could probably cut through steel. Yeah. You saw the other day. Um, I can't remember where it is, but they found a dragon. I believe there's already. A dragon. And they said they found it back in oh over in Japan. They said they found it in 06, but they just now coming out with it. They found a fucking dragon, man. They said it's a dragon. Well, that's why there's so much uh, <laughs> dragon imagery in uh, mm -hmm. all through the world, especially in Japan and uh, China. I've seen a video not too long ago. It was like a little baby dragon flying by a castle of a human. Well, it was an actual real one. Man, that over there, I'm telling you, Europe, that's some... No, I'll tell you some... But, the, 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 what they call the Blessed Isles, the... Those islands, Ireland and Britain, mm -hmm. that's some weird shit that, that happened over there. Yeah, it still is. Yeah, it still is. Some, <laughs> still is but that Stonehenge shit. and all that other mm -hmm. shit. Yep. That's, that's where the Druids was uh, had they set up shop back in the day. The Druids. There was some weird shit <laughs> going on back there, man. They, they, <laughs> their own myth said that giants built Stonehenge. Because mm -hmm. people say, how the hell did they build these? What they read the historical accounts, they told you giants built it. Mm -hmm. Ents. The old English word for giant is an ent. That's where you get giant. Um, newly created, breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy sense of scattered smoke. That reminds you of Joe Ford. Oh, or yep. shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. Out of their eyes? Wait a minute, let me read. What the? Wait a minute, I just bugged me out. That's some, that's some bugged out. This is a bugged out video. Or Filthy sense of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. What the fuck? That, that's like something Superman did, but that's a creature. Right. Yeah. Heat, yeah, his heat vision. How do you do that? All right, man. Hey. <laughs> this is a, the scriptures. And, and he's been around for thousands of years. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of these uh, comic book writers and so forth, they intimate uh, to the Bible, okay? They read the Bible, they read mythology, and they take stuff out of the Bible and they, they integrate it into their comic book store yeah, yeah, or into yeah. their movie. That's who makes best, the best movies and best comics and but whatever. But scholars. Got sense enough to... they, all, they always steal from the Bible, man. Jack, yeah. Hey, like we always say, Jack Kirby, the Mike greatest Mike. comic book writer of all time, and great, in my eyes, he's better than Michelangelo, the greatest artist ever lived, Jack Kirby. <laughs> J.R. Tolkien. <laughs> Well, he's a good writer, but Jack Kirby is the best artist ever. I don't give a fuck what y'all say, but he uh, hey. he said he got all his ideas from the Bible. Hey, Kirby bad, man, because I was bad. just looking at um. It's just tripped out looking. Yeah, I was just looking at the old comic book when uh, Thor and Thor and the Thing was fighting, and it's a bad drawing, man. He's got Thor. action and the fist oh, is man, always. It's, it's nice, man. It's nice. Yeah. 
Well, he created my favorite thing. Oh, he, well, he created the thing. Yeah. He, well, actually, the thing was based on his personality. What? Yeah. Ben now, Grimm. Cause thing, ben Grimm. Cause, yeah, Ben Grimm grew up on Yancey Street. Yes, in New York. That, that's where... Uh, <laughs> In Brooklyn, I think. But, but that's where he grew up. That's where he No, grew. that's the Bronx. It, it, it's all based on himself. Mm -hmm. Ben Grimm, he said it, I heard him in an interview. Right. He's like, yeah, a lot of my personality is in the thing. In the thing. And thank you, it's clobbering time. That's one of my, that's always been my favorite, him and the Hawk. Him and Hawk had some yeah. epic battles, but Hawk yeah. never loses. Yeah, right. Yeah, they only say the, uh, the thing can't beat the Hawk. Because uh, the, thing, the thing is more human. Yeah, he's more human. And his, it, it, it has he, his uh, fury he, suppressed. He ain't got as much rage. Right. And the, but the Hawks is unleashed. But the thing, <laughs> Ben Grimm always give props to the Hawks. You know, the thing actually beat the Hawk one time. Oh, yeah, he did. Beat, somebody, he beat him uh, a couple times, I think. Something but. happened that he, the thing got raged. Yeah. He got raged and he actually, it was one time he did beat him. The Hulk is strong. That's what Hulk would say. Hulk, strongest Hulk is strongest is. of all. <laughs> That's my shit. <laughs> Hulk the strongest one there is. I always liked him when Hulk talk retarded too. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, it's a better Hulk. It's a better Hulk. When he talk like <laughs> yeah, I ain't like the smart one. But the smart one ain't bad. Yeah, he's good. When he first came yeah. out, he was smart. Yeah, the smart one ain't bad. Dude. Depends on who's writing the story. Yeah, it all depends on who's writing that yeah, shit. Yeah, But Kirby, man, that's my dog, man. Yeah, Jack Kirby is the fuck. They call him Jack the King Kirby. You just look at his heart, man. You can see his mind is out, way out. It's way out there. It's way out, man. They tell you the most how I was dealing with it. Yeah, on right. some kind of spiritual level. Yeah. Well, he's an Israel, obviously. Yeah, he's, but he's, yeah. See, a lot of people can't get that. Here it is, y'all, a lot of these people grow up reading comic books. But then they want to call, uh, they, they want to call Jack Kirby an Edomite. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, they, he's a so-called Jew. Mm -hmm. He's not a Jew. He's, well, he's a true Jew. He's an Israelite. He's a real one. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, whereof not only the harm might dispatch them at once, but also the terrible sight utterly destroyed them. There's whatever the fuck these people, you know, these people gonna see this. Just the sight of whatever the most high is gonna, gonna bring out is gonna destroy these motherfuckers. Just the sight. Just the sight. You're gonna be apparitions. There's gonna be all kind of weird shit. Oh, Just like goodness. when the Lord got crucified and you had people coming out their graves. Mm -hmm. Man, that's bugged out. I'm sorry, that's bugged out. <laughs> and we've been talking about that a lot lately. Hey, that's some basic shit. keep coming though. up. Hey, we brought it out. The huh? Walking Dead is about to come back. Oh, The Walking Dead comes on uh, that, it's this Sunday, I think. Season six. Five. Five. Through the halfway it's mark. mid season of season five. That's the only show I watch now, Dad. The, Vi yeah. the Vikings coming back on. I watch that. The Vikings was some season good. Three. That was some good shit. Yeah. That was. I like that better than Walking Dead. That's the only shows I watch of, man. I don't even watch TV. I watch Game of Thrones. Probably coming on. Oh, I watch Game of Thrones. That was my shit. Even when your boy exploded the dude's head. Hey, we gonna do shit like that when the Lord gives us the power. We gonna two thirds. You adulterous women, we're gonna get a hold of one of you adulterous whores. And we just gonna grab your goddamn head. We just gonna squeeze that motherfucker till it pops. These hoes, these hoes. This shit is gonna explode like a. It's these, gonna, these queens, these black queens. It's gonna be like when Gallagher hit the watermelons with the hammer. Y'all watch the Gallagher? <laughs> Which one, the black one or the white one? Or both? <laughs> Man, I got orange, bitches. <laughs> Right. Get, how good would that feel just to squeeze someone's goddamn head till that motherfucker exploded? Yeah, that's gonna be beautiful, man. Do you see? Do you watch that episode of Game of Thrones when they did that? I ain't really getting it. Your boy squeezed this motherfucker. Yeah, he showed us. He, he showed us. You remember when he was at the bottom? Oh yeah. And yeah, then yeah, you yeah, hear that scream. Yeah. Yeah. And then when that bitch screamed after she heard that scream, sounded so real. It just gave you chills up your spine. Dude was kicking his ass at first. Yeah, he's, and that's he when you get his sister or something. So yeah. That was that dude, that uh, that Viking dude. They had that actor. He's from Iceland. Oh, the power lift. Yeah. Yeah. That was him. Wasn't yep. He what just named Hercules. His name is Thor. Thor. Oh they shit! Do you hear that? They, they, they just don't use that new shit. They got flat. They got coated with rubber and shit. They, them motherfuckers over there, and the, uh, them motherfuckers over there, man. They used some old school plates that they was using back in the uh, the late uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s. Oh, yeah. That's just straight iron. Tell me straight that. iron. Well, that, that, you, that, you get you get huh? fucking iron you need me to get blisters right. and shit. You know, you ever had a you this? ever had a a, a, a thorn yeah. from wood? Oh yeah. What yeah. you call them? I know what you're saying. Uh, it's it's splinter. splinter. The splinter. Yeah. Imagine getting one from iron. Damn. And that's something. But they, they hands. 
handling that motherfucking well, back in the day, metal so much that their fingers aren't. Well, back in the day, our people, we used to have uh, thrown, like in Braveheart, we used to have thrown stone contests. Right. So you right. could throw a big ass stone the farthest, just for fun, you know what I'm saying? Just to prove your manhood. <laughs> now, we weren't gonna play Madden to prove our manhood. We gonna go pick up some goddamn boulders and throw them. Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, so Call of Duty? I hate that shit, Oh, man. my goodness, man. I'm gonna the salt and pepper, man. It's all right, though. All you hear over there, ice, we talking about ice. They just, they just built a temple to Odin and Thor. You see that shit? Or they building it. They building a goddamn temple to Odin and Thor. They said the first temple built to Odin and Thor since uh, the goddamn a thousand years ago. That's some bugged out shit, ain't it? Right, right, right. That's some bugged out shit, man. Most like bringing everything out. He's just bringing everybody of, out the cut. Yeah. You know, everything that used to be hidden and yes. everybody's out with. It. Yep, that's you know, a good way of looking at it. The Nazis, the, uh, the uh, skinheads, the black conscious, unconscious movement. They all the coming out the with crypts, this shit. The Most High is bringing everything out. Everything is, yeah, yep. being uncovered. Yep. Everything. So when judgment time come, man, ain't nobody gonna be like, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know. Just like with the Satanists, the, the Church of Satan in America is. Yep, yep. They, they real proud. They got building uh, monuments. You see the new, the new temple, they, the giant statues they got in Detroit that made headline news. New Satan church. Yeah, you go down here on the, the east side, is that shit still going? Mm. On the east side, I've made a video about it. They got a big ass Buddhist temple right there on the east side. <laughs> right it's, it's right off Refugee somewhere over there. You see that one where you used to live down off Cleveland Avenue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right across the street from that corner store. Yeah. Told you I th thought I was big on a fat ass uh, statue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you guys, did you see the video I put up? Uh, uh, called yeah, the I, seen, temple? I seen it. I seen it. It looked like some out of a kung fu movie. <laughs> I'm not joking, bro. It's like stepping like some into a monk shit. It's like I stepped into Yes, yeah, it's, it's like I stepped into a portal or some shit <laughs> and popped out in China or something. You know what I mean? Like what the fuck? I got my hands in man. Yeah, put them in your nuts. That's what I do. Shit. That's, that's a survival technique right there. You get cold hands put in the nuts. Gotta keep them warm every time. <laughs> hey, there are your armpits. Yeah. yeah, these gloves ain't really worth this shit, are they? Look at these, Michael. I'm they wearing... Been working, they've been fine. They've I'm been wearing fine. Look. Oh, you got the same gloves? It was just recent, you know. I, I've been fine. Just, you know. They yeah, just called up with you. Hold it out. They just okay, called okay, up okay, with you. Okay, I'm picky. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, right. Shit. My toes right here. That's the only thing that froze on me is my toes. We out here working, though, right? Yeah. We yeah, out we here working. We out here doing the work of the Lord. Man, we even, no even, whether they here or Fort Bay, nobody's listening. That's right. And we talking about some wild, crazy shit today. That's good. <laughs> That's they don't a, get it. They don't understand it. They don't understand it. <laughs> That's all right, though. Because, hey, because the Lord... He, that's what it's all about. I'm into the crazy shit, man. Mm -hmm. I like learning about... That's what you call the hidden mysteries. The we hidden into the mystery. mysterious shit, man. Yeah, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because the Bible is a mysterious book. That's why so many people are fascinated with it. You start to talk about how the Lord ascended and descended. Like, huh? Yeah, ascended. Yeah, like the UFO thing. A lot of people, they, they'll never understand that. You got people rich, don't claim they've been reading the Bible, been a Christian since they was five years old or whatever. They've been going to church their whole life. Their dad was a pastor. But how come you never heard about UFOs in the Bible? <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? They go in there watching ancient aliens and oh. shit, but they won't accept the fact that it's fucking the angels. Oh, yeah. Angels. They'll, try to, point. they'll try to say it's an alien, not the angels. Right, right. Oh, so yeah. that's that's the way, that's how they they try to squirm their way out, out of uh, out of their judgment. You know what I'm saying? We're like, well, it's not really God, it's, a, it's an alien. You want something to mark, here's one to mark up right here. Ephesians 4 and not 4 and 9. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also 
that ascended up far above all heavens. Above all heavens. <laughs> he That's might outer, do all things. Outer space, other dimensions. <laughs> and the Lord does it all. The angels do it all. Right, right, right. Shit, right. Uh, and there could be some truth to that hollow earth shit. There's yeah, some shit up inside this planet. Has to be. You got creatures that, like you said, hibernating down yeah, up in there. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They actually got a movie that's coming yeah, out. Esau, that's, he uh, got underground. <laughs> oh, well, Esau, he, he got the bullshit underground caverns. What was he talking about? There's a movie coming out where uh, it's uh, about I'm middle earth. Name, right, uh, the middle earth. The, this journey, like journey to the center of the earth type shit? Yeah, it was kind of similar like that. It had a Nazi riot in the motherfucking uh, dinosaur shit. Oh, uh, see, they always put the Nazis in with it. <laughs> It was some bugged out shit and they had this chick that looked like Sarah Palin um, <laughs> going down this underground shit in Antarctica and there was a whole Sarah another... Well, Antarctica's some bugged out shit. This part, that's a big ass continent, but it's covered in ice. Yeah. Just think, and they can't even do no archaeological digs down there. Mm -hmm. they'll, yeah, find some, they'll find some crazy shit if they started searching down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some oh, hell yeah. You know what I mean? You probably got underwater, like, whoa. Well, they're underwater just, caves and shit like oh, that. Man, I can imagine. Well, that's you know why they saying? tried to say on that Predator movie, there was an ancient pyramid down in Antarctica. Oh, yeah, yeah, that movie. <laughs> Alien versus Predator. The yeah, that's what that was, the flood, yeah. was there snow? What, the Bering no, Straits? No, I don't go, think so. The Bering Straits go through Alaska, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's where the, the Indians came from Siberia. Uh -huh. That's some bullshit. Right, 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 right. And that's what they say, they, that's how they got over here. That's strange. retarded. You gonna tell me they walked all oh, this cold? If it was that goddamn cold, what the hell would they walk even farther north? Wouldn't you they be going south? Right, right. That don't make no goddamn sense, man. Them Israelites, they don't even like fucking no. Hey, 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 yeah, they ain't walking that motherfucker <laughs> far. <laughs> right. And they try to say that, yeah, that, that Native Americans are descended from Chinese people or something. They sure do. I and mean, they don't bear they no sure resemblance do. to them. Yeah, yeah. They actually, that with a lot of the Mexicans too, they say mm -hmm. that too. They but sure the, the so-called Native American Indians, they don't resemble any other people on the planet, really. No, no. They got their own no. spirit. Cause that, that's part of the, you know, the 10 tribes of Israel. Yeah, and the women are beautiful ass. Oh, they, they got some sexy ass oh, women. Oh my God, man. God damn. Oh, man. Pocahontas is my dream girl. Oh, man. Brazilians are the pe only people that come close. Well, they, oh, yeah, well, they the same. Them. They the same people, though. Yeah. Well, they are essentially the same people. Yeah, they're yeah. all Israelites. And uh, uh, yeah, there's some Brazilian bitches, Anna, man. Uh, Diana, I'm with the two. Look at that porn bitch on. That porn bitch from Brazil. On. Oh man, I don't know nothing about it. Oh. Back in the day, Vanessa. Man, she was what was she? Built like a damn a horse. She was on. I, don't, I know she was from Puerto Rican. Rican. Oh, okay. Well, I met, Del I I met, I met you, Vanessa Del Rio. I met you. I met you, Miss Sonny. I met, I met <laughs> Vanessa Del Rio at church in around 94, 95. Wow. Here Ooh. in Columbus, um, off of Agler's Beast. Man, okay. Columbus used to be full of stripper joints, man. That you wow. could walk in and have a beer. Oh, they, still they weren't as bad as they are, as expensive as they are now yeah, back then. Like a horse. Yes, yeah, right. Still is. Mm. You seen her in the movie with um, the last movie, uh, Bernie Mac made. Uh, yeah, she was in that movie. Yeah, when she was uh, the neighbor across the street. And yeah, you know, fucking in the very that next was uh, the movie with him and Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Soul, Soul Brothers. Soul Brothers. Soul I had never seen that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah she was Rio, in that. Fuck, yeah. Uh, yeah, she looked good. All, her old ass. She, her old ass still looked good with all that nice, expensive makeup. What's up, homie? She knew too much, right? It was Korea, I bet. Yeah, I want to rap to him, man. Motherfuckers always got a room, man. I want to talk, man. Well, he said, you know? what's up? Please, yeah, that's what I was saying, man, how he spoke, man. This motherfucker beatboxing. What's up, man? You guys freestyle? Nah, no, I'm just getting you beatboxing, man. Where you from, man? Uh, from? 30 minutes away. Huh? 30 minutes away. What's that, Jamesville? Uh, Reynoldsburg. Who? Reynoldsburg. Oh, you from Reynoldsburg? Yeah. 30 minutes away, man. That is pretty far. That's past Whitehall. Reynoldsburg? Yeah, bro, break your dubstep. He got the dubstep. He's doing the dubstep. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Gunn. Jake Gunn.
The so-called Jew of today, uh -huh. they claim it goes through your mother's side, yeah. but that proves they don't follow the teachings of the Bible because the Bible all, it has no, genealogies all through the Bible, okay. and it, all, it only deals with the father's side, okay. never the mother whatsoever. We can go through, read the whole book of Chronicles. Let's do it right now. Oh, I've got to work out of there. Now I just want to show you something real quick. Okay. Hey, get a Revelation 2 and 9. Because what's your father? Where's your father from? Sweden. Uh, that's up. proof. He's a Viking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my dad's from. Yeah, right. born so your Sweden. mom didn't get disowned for marrying a goy? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> she was like disowned prior to. <laughs> huh? She was like disowned prior to. You know the Nini Unification Church? Yeah. Yeah. She like kind of, like they kind of kind of kicked her out. Oh, that's right. But then like I mean obviously she's okay. chill with her family now, but yeah. Right, but, all right. And then she met my dad there. Yeah. Yeah, because they don't, uh, the so called Jews, they don't allow that. Because they, they call all of us goy. They look at us like we're just worthless cattle. But what you got, uh, what you want to read? Oh, here, let me show you something. Right. Well, we could read Chronicles real quick. Just uh, if I can find my hands are so damn cold. I know, man. I'm surprised you guys are out here. Like, today's, today's hey, cold. It's a passion, bro. It's a passion. It's passion. As close as we driven by fear. Yeah, cause you know the, by fear. those so-called Jews. It's a good thing your mom broke away from them, because mm -hmm. uh, because they don't they don't follow this book. They follow the Talmud. You ever hear the Talmud? Uh, it's a uh, my uncle straight up living in Jerusalem, though living that whole life from right your now? mom's side, right? Yeah, yeah. So your dad's from Sweden, though, right? Yeah. Since you know the, the original Swedish people are Israelites, you know you know what I'm saying. But watch this. I'm gonna go to the Book of Chronicles. It says Adam, Seth, Enos, Canaan. Mahalalel, he knocked, uh, it's all men. Well, let's skip down. And Abraham begot Isaac, the sons of Isaac, or Esau and Israel. So it don't say nothing about, it never goes through the woman's side. Because the woman is just a, carries this, because a man has a seed. You know what I'm saying? A man has a seed. A woman don't have seed. It's like when you plant a tree, because you are what your father is. If your father was an Israelite, you're an Israelite. Like we always say, uh, if you take an apple seed, if I plant an apple in anywhere in the planet Earth, what's going to grow? An apple. You know what I'm saying? The horse tree ain't going to grow. So no matter if I have a sex with a Chinese woman, I can fuck a Japanese bitch, a uh, Somalian woman, any woman I have sex with, is always that child is going to uh, be the same nation as me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be a Somalian. Here, I'm going to show you something real quick, though. Because the so-called Jews over there in Israel, they're not even real Jews. And I'm not here trying to talk down bad about your mom or nothing. I'm just going to show you the facts of the Bible. And I'm sure you love your mother. Dude. The Bible says to respect your mother. Let me read this real quick. I'll this go is, ahead. This is, um, this is Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 1. I myself also am a mortal man, like to all, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be the flesh in the time of 10 months being compacted in blood of the seed of man. Of the seed of man. And the pleasures that came with soon. Yeah, cause you, you are who your father is. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, even the one, the one day, the one they called Jesus Christ, they called him the son of Joseph, the son of David. They never called him the son of Mary. You know what I'm saying? But well, watch this. Uh, this will go talking about the so-called Jew. Revelation 2 and 9. And I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. The real riches is this knowledge. 
And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Mm. I mean, that's, that's crystal clear. So who's the people claiming to be Jews? And people that are in Israel today, they're not the real Jews. They don't call themselves Israelites, they call themselves Israelis. Oh, they're Israelis. You know what I'm saying? Israelis, that's right. So, that's why it's a good thing, because you, just like what they did to your mom, you said they disowned her? For a couple of years. Um, they're, 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 they're a bunch of devils, essentially. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You never heard uh, what you, you ever so heard the saying with Jews you lose? <laughs> I never heard that. Because with Jews you lose. <laughs> Here's an example of an Israelite woman dealing with an, uh, a heathen. This is Leviticus 24 and 10. And the son of an Israelite woman whose father was an Egyptian went out among the children of Israel. And this son of the Israel, 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 Israelish woman and a man of Israel strove together in the camp. And the Israelish woman, son, blasphemed me the name of the Lord and cursed. And they brought him unto Moses. And his mother's name was Shilamith. And the daughter of Dibra and the child. You know, it's just giving you an example of how an uh, 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 Israelite son of Israel won't Are be cursed after me? the Heavenly Father. That's just a character. She is not wearing no fucking do. pants. That's crazy, man. You know, there's no telling what. She probably just made a stat for it with wearing a. Man, y'all, that's your team too, the Bengals. The Bongos. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't watch it. You in denial now? She was a cutie pie too. She was sexy, man. She probably just made a, uh, a porno. A porno. Hell yeah. Or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Probably still has you know, comb in her you know, hair. Well, yeah. You know, the Bible, the Bible is a, it's a fulfillment of prophecy. Because the Lord said, in Amos, I get it, it's too damn cold. Amos 7, 17 says, Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. You know what I'm saying? All, all my women are, all these women out here is bitches and hoes, bro. All of them. All of them. These bitches ain't shit. All of them. All that's, that's like he said, she probably just got done shooting on porno. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I know you be watching. Swears. I know you be watching porn. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you get on the internet, that's all it is. You meet these girls, man, they want to watch porn. But look at this. So what like, you gonna be? Oh, no, there's no, billions. No. <laughs> there's literally billions of pornos videos <laughs> uploaded. Mm -hmm. they, like it's like YouTube for porno. <laughs> Last week out here, I pulled out a. I did a, a Google search on bestiality. Over a million <laughs> videos popped up. You know what bestiality These is. These bitches fucking dogs. Dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's no laws against it here. That. Hey, people get off it's on America. that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because um, that's why America is. Uh, America. Well, America's yeah. the kingdom of Satan, bro. It's the kingdom of Satan. Hey. Uh oh, let me ask you a question. Who owns who wrote who owns all these major porno uh companies? So-called Jews. Who controls so Hollywood? So-called Jews. So I oh, you should know Jews control Hollywood. Uh, I, I like I, I I'm not in the point of my life where I where I'm like uh studying religion or anything. I, I was growing up. You're a student here? Say what? You're a student here? Yeah. Oh well, we ain't got no What you study? Say religion. Sport industry. Okay. Say what? Sport industry. Sport industry. Yeah, minor in business. Man, I just want to go to beatboxing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, and you got a SoundCloud? Yeah. I'm going to chop that video out of Facebook. here. K-O. What is it? K-O. K-A-O. K-A-O. Was it like a like page or? Yeah. And then YouTube, K-O beatbox. K-O K-O beatbox? <laughs> yeah. I'll hit you up on YouTube. Sweet, man. All right. Well, yo, you guys stay warm. Appreciate the knowledge. All right, bro. Yeah, stay warm. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Oh, that was, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking frozen, bro. <laughs> See, that, that's a good example. That's funny. We was just talking about the Jews earlier about did you do a guy be a Jake beatboxer like that, man? <laughs> he, I, man, he did a motherfucking dubstep beatboxing. I ain't never heard nobody dubstep a beatboxer. He did that better than some of the he computer like, noises. He sounded like thing. actual dubstep. It's <laughs> like, it is like I can't even pretend <laughs> to do that shit. He sounded like like some prodigy or something. <laughs> The, what the fuck he that, said he's going to uh, switch his profession to beatboxing. Yeah, but you got, I mean, you, you got to do, but, you know, do what you got to do, man. I ain't never heard nobody beatbox that damn good. <laughs> Remember, you do Matt that Turner. That's the worst beatboxing ever heard in the <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I used to do that shit when I was young. I, so I grew up listening to the Fat Boys. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I used to see the Fat Boys live. You gotta see that shit live, and then you're really bugged. That's out. the first rap music I used to listen to was the mm -hmm. Fat Boys and the Beastie Boys. Yeah. They was uh, uh, before the Beastie, before uh, the Fat Boys. There was a uh, 
It was um, Slick Rick and um, Dougie uh, Fresh doing uh, the beatbox. Yeah, Dougie Fresh. Slick Rick was yeah. that shit, boy. Mm -hmm. Always Slick Rick had that smooth style. Yeah, that storytelling. Yeah, but and he was real smooth, like, you know Slick what I'm Rick saying? Is, yeah, he nice. He was nice. Yeah, because that's a Jake right there. Yeah. You remember Slick Rick? He be looking all like, uh, see, Jake, because Jake likes that gold. Jacob, in the spirit, he's the royalty. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, Israel yeah, means yeah, prince yeah. of the yeah. most high. That's why, you know, Slick Rick, he always wearing the gold, looking all royal and shit. Right, right, right. Back then, that gold was cheap. Oh, Slick yeah. Rick's a Freemason. Yeah, right. What? Oh, he that that got that ring, don't he? On he that got album. necklaces and rings. Mm -hmm. Well, he probably well he's he got banned from America, ain't he? He get deported? Did he really? Yeah, because oh. he's from England, ain't he? <laughs> Not like Freemason or anything. He talks with an English accent. Yeah, cause we um he he used actually that British accent in um, one of his songs. Um, uh, Rick the Ruler has returned. Uh, that was my shit. Uh, he's talking British in it, kind of at the beginning of that. Then he always rap or he News paused for one second and then yeah he had in that certain rhyme lines. scheme when he would rap. On the second, like three beat. bars pause for the fourth, or not, not three bars, but I know what you're saying for three beats pause on the fourth. Yeah, he had that same rhyme scheme. Yeah, because you got you got a rhymeologist on YouTube, they'll break all the <laughs> rhyme schemes down for you. Right, right, correct. Well, man, we was watching this video. That's how people they get so bugged out on studying the dumbest shit, man. Yeah, you got end rhymes, you got same rhymes, you got end rhyme is when the words at the end of the line rhyme. And then they, they like, try to. Now y'all teaching me something. You had this rhyme. I'll just break it down on how Eminem was the greatest rhymer ever. Rhymeologist. <laughs> I'm in the front. Your mom's a cunt. That's an M rhyme. <laughs> right. The same rhyme is like. Uh, <laughs> Why don't they do a hexameter? I'm gonna have to watch this shit, man. <laughs> M rhyme is when the end, <laughs> end of a line is the same word. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. These motherfuckers will sit here. They will. They'll study raps instead of studying actual knowledge. I mean, I'll study a little music too. You know what I'm saying? I'll study uh, uh, musical scales in different modes. You know what I'm saying? Like a Dorian mode or a, you know, because I play guitar and shit. So, I, uh, you know, Pythagorean uh, tunings and. But Jake will get bugged out. They'll study goddamn raps. They'll study Madden. They'll study football. You know what I'm saying? But oh, and never... there's inner rhymes too. Inner rhymes is like with all the same words in one line rhyme. That's the inner rhyme. Yeah, man. It's too much. But then... Inner, center, tenor... But they can't study the scripture. Inner. That's too much. That's too much to study that. To study Hebrew. Let me see you study some Hebrew. Well, oh, yeah. Did They don't know Jake love rhyming so much. Well, Hebrew rhymes way more than English. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God, yeah, it sounds more manly. Right, because the songs, because really the songs flow a lot better in Hebrew. The original language was intended to be spoken in or sang in. But the book of Psalms is a whole book of flows for you. A book of, you know, a tunes. There's some classics. Yeah, this is the same rhyme. Abba got a howaz, I'll punch a bitch up in her jaw. That's, That's the terrible. same rhyme. shouldn't say that. That's <laughs> going off. No, it ain't. It's, it's saying, uh, it was a rhyme. What you got, bro? It was an example. Okay, Isaiah 30, verse 1. You got the mic. Woe to the rebellious children, save the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Oh, yeah, 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 these people, they'll take counsel from a rapper. They'll say Tupac's a prophet. they taking counsel from Tupac. Here it is. What? When I was watching Dabu 7, he said Tupac's still alive. He made a whole video. He's like, it's Machiavelli. It's the Don. You know Four what I'm minutes. Saying? Uh, keep going. But not okay. Uh. <laughs> He's just down. What's it? What's it? Yeah, yes. right. Somebody might have died. Let's go. In that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. A cat might have got hit by a car though. Bitches cry over anything. I'm sorry. Read that again. In that cover with a covering. But not of my spirit. And not of my spirit, because, right, y'all fools, you'll follow the ways of Tupac, Machiavelli, you know what I'm saying, Biggie Smalls, Wu Tang Clan. Y'all, but yo, you will never take counsel from the Lord. Y'all go follow the ways of Kemet, the ways of Egypt. Y'all, uh, 
Y'all motherfuckers will worship all Those these false gods. Sinners. Be call yourself a Buddha and Hindu. Go and do a goddamn yoga with your girl. You know what I'm saying? Read that again. That take covering for covering, but not of my spirit. You're not all like yeah, you going you taking a covering from one of these pre pork chop eating preachers up in these churches. That's not the Lord's spirit. Keep going. Mm. And they may add sin to sin. That's adding sin to sin. You going to one of these uh punk ass preachers up in these churches. That's a that's a sin to even sit up inside of one of them churches. Oh, yeah. That's a sin. You know what I'm saying? Listen to one of these uh, old hustlers. There ain't nothing but goddamn pimps and hustlers wearing a nice suit, got they, uh, they bling bling and they Rolex and uh, Escalade. You know what I'm saying? Talking that smooth shit. Living good, shining. Living good, they shining. You know what I'm saying? And they, they make fun of you. They won't let you in the church if I, I went in there dressed like this. They look at me like I was stupid. If I went up in there just wearing my regular clothes, they would look at me like I was stupid. All these dumbass bitches up in the church wearing all the uh, pearls and costly array like Timothy talk about. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They wearing their gold rings and gold necklaces and diamonds. You got their hair did when bitches' hair is supposed to be covered. I got their hair did. Little <laughs> well, hair did. That's what ain't that what uh, Missy Elliott said? She got her nails did or something. Oh, I seen a post on Facebook yesterday. It said. Gas prices are below two dollars, and Missy Elliott's on the TV. It's like we're in the '90s all over again. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, Missy Elliott was what on the Super Bowl or something? <laughs> yeah, and she was on all kinds of talk shows afterwards. Man, you know, just think of that bitch used to be all fat. She probably anorexic now, ain't she? I didn't even watch no, it. She's still fat. She was on this uh, the I morning didn't watch the show. Huh? What's that show where Ozzy's wife, The View? Is that it? Oh, yeah. She that was on bitch. The View and they was doing cooking show and she was out there scarfing all that shit down. Yeah, the Lord, go, I pray the Lord put Sharon Osbourne to death. That's one of, you know, she's an adulterous, <laughs> devil-worshipping hoe, man. Oh, she, didn't she leave Ozzy or something? She just, she, she just reeks of evilness, man. Yeah, she yeah. just look evil. It's like a sorceress, like an evil sorceress. You know what I'm saying? I don't like Ozzy Osbourne either, man. I like Black Sabbath better with Ronnie James Dio. Yeah, I couldn't think of his name yesterday. A bitch told me she liked the group Dio. I was like, that's his last name. I can't think of that his first name. Ronnie James Dio, he did, he's famous for Rainbow in the Dark. Rainbow in the Yeah, that was Ronnie James Dio, wasn't it? Yeah, that's his shit. I remember Dio, though. He's the one that made throwing up devil horns popular. But he said he got it from... But he said he got her from his Stop Italian that. grandmother. Look at that heathen. Look at that heathen. Sing it to my Dre. Heathens. Oh, that's good. Love the fallen nigga. He called you a cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> Who did? That guy did? Yeah. Jim called him a heathen. He's like, cocksucker. <laughs> no, I that's even, what he said. I didn't even get a look at it. Hurry up with that. This battery about to die. Right. Proverbs 14, verse 32. The wicked, the wicked is driven away in his wickedness, but the righteous have hope in his death. Yeah, the righteous have hope in the wicked's death. Well, that's hope. That's hope. He was talking about hope and change or some Obama. God, hope is the wicked being destroyed. That's faith. That's hope. That's faith. That's change. That's right. And that's the end of this video. What's that scriptures in the oh, hold on. Bible? Yeah, Most High said he got pleasure in a man that loves his children and seek to destroy his enemies. And that's a bad. Let me read that real quick. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Is it still? It's about to die. It, How much we got? The, it says yeah, zero hurry minutes. Up. It's probably less than 30 seconds. I gotta hurry up. You gotta be quick. You gotta be fast. It's like a Bible drill. When I, I, when I was went to church as a youngin, we went to Bible. We had Bible drills. Who see you get the scriptures the fastest? You ain't making Still it. Still going. You better just quote it. I did. <laughs> you do like when you in a dream and you, and you can't read letters good in your dreams, you just quote oh, the scripture. 